We're in line waiting for revolving sushi. That's what we're having for dinner today. But there's a really long line right now, but I hear really good things about this place. So we're excited to try it out. amazing revolving sushi dinner ever! It was our first time getting a revolving sushi experience and we thought it could be a lot more but it turned out to be only $35 and it was amazing. It was probably like less than half of what we would have spent back in the United, United States. States. So if you don't know what revolving sushi is, it's on a conveyor belt and it just spins around you, mm -hmm. or not around you, in front of you. On a, just a conveyor belt, just grab whatever you want. And then they calculate by how many plates you eat, and then depending what dish it is, it has a different cost to it. But oh my gosh, it only turned out to be $35, and that's usually like two rolls back at home. But the food was probably not as fresh. It was like the freshest salmon, tuna, squid, octopus that you could think of. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And then they give you tea, and it, the whole experience was so cool. And then this place was actually a really good find because it's not as expensive as other places and it was really good still and the line is still really long. I will show you guys, the line is really long. It's like, it's wrapping around the corner guys. I don't know if you can see, but it's over there. It's crazy, it was so worth the wait. We waited about like 45 minutes? Yeah, 45 minutes. It was worth the wait, it was so good. I'm gonna do a full vlog write up on food that we eat. So you guys go to Japan, definitely have to check this out. Sensoji. Sensoji Shrine. We're gonna go explore. There's little shops here, so we're gonna go grab some yummy food and just walk around. We tried to get here early, but clearly it's still very busy, so it's not good. Guys, I can't believe it's Friday already. Our trip, we still have a few days left. It's sad. There's so much to see. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. This looks so cool.
just like came with our first bowl and we got extra noodles. Johnny's extra noodles already came. Adding it to the broth. Mm. <laughs> We just finished eating the most amazing ramen. We got extra noodles. That was the best. Oh my gosh, it feels well, really good. I'm debating whether it was the very first ramen we had. Oh man. It was better than that. It's all been really good. It's been really good though. I oh. think about it. The broth, it's so different. They're both so good. The first one we I had like a garlic uh, oil tonkatsu. Oh, yeah. That was really good it was though. Super bomb. This, this one. was really good though too. This oh. one here. Guys, it was so good. We even got extra noodles. We ate it real quick. We didn't talk to each other. We didn't talk to each other at all. The only thing we said to each other was, hey, do you want to order extra noodles? <laughs> so it feels really good to stand now. Oh my gosh. Good thing what I'm wearing, it's semi-stretchy. I don't think I've eaten so many noodles before. Oh my gosh. We gotta walk around, walk it off. Yeah. Good thing we've been walking a lot. Um, on average, we've been walking around like 18,000 steps a day. The most we walked one day was in Kyoto. That was like 29,000 steps. Guys, that's a lot of steps. Because at home, I'm not even getting 10,000 steps a day, which is what you should be doing, which is really sad. So we're making up for it now. We're gonna walk around Shibuya, and I think we're gonna go to Shibuya Crossing where it's like the busiest um, crosswalk in all the lands, all the world. All the world? What am I even saying? Oh my gosh, I'm in a food coma. Shibuya Crossing. Let's do this, babe. <laughs> we made it! Now we have to cross the street again! Where are we going today, babe? We're gonna eat some dim sum. Hey guys, we are here in line for dim sum at Tim Ho at Tim Ho Wan, and we walked by it before, and it was always a long line. We're curious what it was, and now we're here trying it out, and we realized it's a Michelin star um, dim sum restaurant from Hong Kong. So it just this restaurant just opened earlier this month in April, so it's probably why the line is crazy. And we only have two back in the United States at New, in New York and Waikiki in Hawaii. So we're really excited to try it out here in Tokyo. Love dim sum. I've been craving it, mm. and so I'm really excited. Guys, the hot gas to my, and everything is gonna be amazing! So it's a pretty casual setting here. I think that's what this is meant to be. It's a very casual, dim sum style restaurant, but it's a Michelin star, so I'm really excited to try out all the ingredients. We had to like stop ourselves from ordering everything, because it's slightly pricier because it is Michelin star. But I'm excited. I'm sure it'll be really tasty. So guys, we're in the middle of eating, but let's report on how everything's doing so far. This is the best hog out I've ever had. Like the shrimp is so good, fresh, and the rice paper around it is thin enough. Johnny, how do you like it? And the pork buns are really good. This is the last of our pork buns. Delicious. Oh my gosh. It's so good. What kind of latte art do you have there, babe? Shirt. It's right here. <laughs> 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 